I'm going to be doing uh, some poetry. We're having an event here on uh, April 17th on Saturday. Uh, it's called the PBJ Show. It's kind of the poetry version of the BLT Show. And um, we're going to have an amazing lineup from 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Um, 20 different artists uh, doing uh, poetry uh, and mixing it up with some music, poetry, uh, maybe some, some uh, comic skits. <laughs> Hi, Diane. So I'm going to read one of my poems. I was in a, um, a poetry project uh, started by Jonathan Phipps, which I see, I see you there, Jonathan. It was called The Rites of March. Um, many of us on Kimono My House are songwriters, and songwriters uh, tend to also write poetry. So this is what I wrote for day two, Back Roads and Bridges. Summertime, Dreamtime, Red Clay, Georgia, Man of the Mountains, Pine Trees Touching Heaven, Clouds of Cotton Floating in the Sky, Banjo Strings and Bird's Wings, Peaches in the Pie. Can you hear the radio from the old pickup truck, kicking up dust on the back roads on the way? It's been years, but some things just feel the same. We belong to yesterday. Tupelo honey, moonshine in a jar, cabin smoke in the mountains, sweetheart barefoot in the dark, skinny dipping, day tripping, checkers on the back porch, time for compliments and fishing. Dusty country back roads, I'm not alone. You know the way, though I have roamed. I'm coming home here to stay. Back roads and bridges take me home. Back roads and bridges from long ago. And that was day two of the Rites of March um, project. And the prompt that Jonathan gave us was, uh, I think that was, uh, what was the prompt? I think it was Blue Ridge. Yes, Blue Ridge. Um, so that was day two. And day three, um, is um, the prompt was Places. So I wrote a very short poem. It's called Place Setting. Place Setting. Breakfast Dessert. Kitchen, fires, spooned, forked, your place or mine. And that was day three. Okay, um, now let's see. Uh, so since uh, March is over, we've, uh, Jonathan has decided to keep the projects going. And so uh, the Rites of March group has morphed into, <laughs> hi Renee, <laughs> the Rites of March project has morphed into um, the Pen and Paper Cafe. And if you've been following me, I've been trying to post some of my poems on TikTok. Um, and following Renee's lead on learning as much uh, tech platforms as possible. Um, so here, let's see, uh, one more poem. Ah, here's one, a poem that I wrote. This actually was a poem for, uh, that I wrote for Renee Jaworski, and it's called, uh, Courage Corsage, and that'll be my last poem because I, I'm gonna go for it on the last line, and you know what that last line is, Renee. <laughs> And this is called Courage Corsage for Renee. A flower from a bucket vendor, a coffee with a friend, a message when you're low, lifts you when courage ebbs. Courage isn't where it's at. Is it really what you need? Maybe the answer, my friend, is first to stand for what you believe. Courage begins when you stake your turf, even if you're on your knees. Things can get pretty ugly in the dirt, 
why not plant flowers in the hurt? When in time the flowers bloom, wear the corsage around your wrist. If doubt ever tries to rob you, punch it with your fucking fist. So that was for Renee and for all of us when we, <laughs> when we face our doubts. <laughs> and, um, oh, actually, I'm going to do one more poem because she mentioned this today. And uh, this is a poem about my mother. It's called Machete Mama. Mama with a machete, skirt hitched up past her knees, chopping away at a city jungle with Bruce Lee's expertise. Now she's moved into the city, to a bungalow in town, but still hits coconuts between the eyes and wears orchids in her crown. Still the tiger she ever was, though the machete is used for cooking. Coconut, ginger, and garlic too, it's steamy in her kitchen. She never dreams of island life. The pond was too small there. In the city, she grows a banana tree. She's made her garden there. And that was Machete Mama. So um, our event, it, it, the PBJ show, is going to be here at Kimono My House uh, Saturday, um, April 17th which happens to be National Haiku Day, and April is National Poetry Month. So um, I appreciate the company of so many great poets here, Kimono My House, and now the Pen and Paper Cafe. And uh, many of us are now also on another platform called All Poetry, which kind of archives everything we have. So anyway, hope to see you then. And now uh, we're getting ready now for the BLT show. And Tom, I know you're in the audience, but I'll see you in a few minutes. And uh, good luck, Diane. I'm looking forward to your uh, comic set. And I'll see you all in a few minutes.